Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to make motion sensor lights at home. You will need an HCSR501 motion sensor, one C2482 NPN transistor. You can use any other NPN transistor. A 1A diode, I'm using a 1N5819 diode by Schottky, a 9V relay, two switches, two 18650 batteries, two serially connected cases for them. You may use a small current transformer if you have one. I prefer using batteries. You will also need a terminal block, some metal corners, and heat shrink tubes. You also need something to put the electronics into. I'm using a food container for this. Here's some information on the motion sensor. It's important, especially if you are a beginner. The sensor's power voltage ranges from 4.5 to 20 volts. Never mind the 5V sign near its positive pin. You can connect up to 20V here. This one is the ground. The middle one is the output. When the sensor is activated, this wire receives current up to 60 microamperes with 3.3V voltage. I recommend using a transistor to increase the capacity. Here are two trim pods. This left one controls the detection range. You can set it at a range of 3 to 7 meters. The second trim pod controls time. It has time, min and max signs here. You can set the timer for a period of 5 to 200 seconds. The links for all the parts are in the video description section. Here are the schemes for all the connections. Motion sensor light scheme, phase, motion sensor, relay coil, switch, 4.5 to 20 V. No resistor as the current is low equals 60 farad. Transistor, positive, negative, switch, 8 V battery or current transformer and diode bridge, a normally open relay contact. The relay's rated voltage is 9 V, and the total voltage of the batteries is around 8 V. This should be enough for the relay to operate. You can hear the relay working. Make holes, two at the bottom for the terminal block, and another two for the switches. Make holes for the sensor too. Solder everything and insulate with a heat shrink tube. It should look like this. Here's the diode. Here's the relay's contact. There is a parallel connection to the switches, and then it goes to the terminal block. The lamp wires should be connected here. Insulate everything with a heat shrink tube because the voltage here will be 220V. The top switch should turn everything off, and the bottom switch should shunt the relay so the lights can be turned on without this device too. The relay indicates that it can operate with up to 10A. That's enough for a light bulb. Fasten the metal corners like this, and make holes for the external wires here. Turn off your circuit breaker before you connect the lights.
After you connect everything, turn the circuit breaker on and check how the lights work. I set the motion sensor in the hall. Okay, it's on. Now the lights are powered through the relay and the sensor. Turn the switch off. Let's turn on the lights with the relay turned off. Use the top switch. It's working. It works perfectly. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of interesting crafts and projects coming for you soon. See you! I shut the door. Let's check through a door viewer when the lights are out. I set the timer for 25 seconds. Well, it's working. The lights are out.